Hi everyone and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. I wanted to make a full day of eating video that really captures the idea that you can eat whatever you want and still lose weight. I'm gonna be showing you three recipes, two meals and one snack slash treat um, that I've just adapted to meet my caloric needs. So let's go ahead and get into the first recipe. before we get into this first meal that I am not a dietitian, obviously. Honestly, I think the biggest reason why I've lost 80 pounds and been able to keep it off is because I haven't restricted myself throughout this entire process. Whenever I embarked on this weight loss journey, I wanted to do it simply on a calories in versus calories out way. So to do that, I found a lot of tools um, to help me just kind of cut calories but not sacrifice my favorite dishes and foods. So basically, I never feel restricted because I found a lot of substitutions for my favorite things, or I've just learned that there are certain things that you need to measure out and they actually end up being enough in the end. So for me, I have to say my favorite food that has been with me for so, so long is pasta. I know a lot of people love pasta. I mean, it's a super kid-friendly food, so you can develop attachments to it really early if you're an emotional eater like I am. I think about food way too much. So yeah, I ate pasta throughout losing 80 pounds, believe it or not. So this is the pasta that I eat and it's the Barilla Protein Plus Pasta. It does have like a good amount of protein compared to just your average pasta. 10 grams per serving. Serving sizes don't mean that that's how much you should eat of that food. Somewhere that I think serving sizes are applicable is with things like snacks. Like how many Cheez-Its is actually an appropriate amount to eat at one time. A lot of times that you'll see a serving size as a certain amount is so that you can see all of the macronutrients and the micronutrients divided in a sensible mathematical way. So with normal pasta, one ounce is 100 calories. So that's why, that's a pretty easy measurement. And so that's why they tell you two ounces is a serving and that'll be 200 calories. But for me, two ounces of pasta is really not that much. So usually anytime I cook pasta, I usually make two servings, which is four ounces. And I just go ahead and measure that on my scale. In a past what I eat in the day video, I put up the calories on the screen, but I think I'm gonna step away from that just because my calories are my calories and I don't want you to think that you should eat exactly what I eat. Um, if you have questions about how to figure out your calories because there's a whole bunch of math and stuff that goes into that, just let me know and I can send you some links. Definitely something that I have played around with a lot, especially as I have kind of embarked more into the world of strength training and really worrying about what's going to fuel my body, not just produce weight loss. So with all of that said, we're gonna get into our meal for lunch. We're gonna be making baked chicken parmesan and some spaghetti. So, like I said, this is the pasta that I would typically use, but today, we're gonna try these together. So, I've seen these for a long, long time, and obviously people on keto love them. They're just the tofu shirataki noodle. I'm a big volume person, like I can eat a lot of food. This whole bag is 20 calories and it seems like a good amount of noodles. So we're gonna try these out, but I did pick up this pasta just in case these are too weird for me. So we'll see how it goes. This, I'm just gonna pop some chicken in the oven. I season pretty much everything with garlic powder, onion powder, um, salt and pepper. And so I'm gonna pop these in. Best way to cook chicken, in my opinion, is at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. It's gonna come out perfectly done, still moist and wonderful. Okay, I'm about to drain these and rinse them for a while. And I figured I would do this with you because I've heard that they smell terrible. So we'll find out together. That was a stupid decision, Abby. Why did we only open the corner of the bag? Yep, it's a weird smell. Yum. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna rinse these off. Okay, so I have these all rinsed, but 
but I do have my regular protein pasta on standby in case. I'm also gonna do some green beans, so I just have them sitting in some water to get any extra dirt off of them. So I mentioned that I measure a lot of my foods, which if you're new to calorie counting, that's something you're going to have to do. Otherwise you could easily under or overestimate. And so I just wanna show you a little trick that I do. Measuring your food doesn't have to be getting out a million dishes and then having a bunch to clean. Um, my biggest tip would be to, first of all, get yourself a scale. This one is from Walmart, I believe. And so when you first turn on your scale, it's gonna read zero. And that's when you can obviously measure anything on it. But if you wanna measure out some food, go ahead and put your dish of food on there and then zero it out again. And then what I do, so I want one ounce of cheese to put on top of my chicken. So all I'm gonna do is take out the amount that I think I want and go off of the negative. So if I take off one slice, okay, so that was half an ounce, take off another slice, that was one ounce, perfect. So now I know that this is one ounce of cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and do with this what I want, package that back up, and there you go. Okay, so I tried one of the shirataki noodles out of the pan, and it didn't really taste weird or anything, just kind of tasted like a flavorless noodle. So we're gonna try this together. I just went for it and put the sauce on it, so I hope it's good. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. So the texture is like a little bit more bitey than regular pasta, but it doesn't have a weird flavor or anything, so I would definitely buy these again. By all means, eat regular pasta if that is what your heart desires, and I will definitely be eating regular pasta in the future, but this is a cool little hack if you have the time to do the pan frying thing. I mean, frying them in the pan like that would probably take just as long as it would to boil a pot of pasta, so. That's awesome. Um, for the chicken parm, I just took it out about six minutes before they were gonna be done and just put some sauce and some fresh mozzarella on top. And then the beans, as you saw, I just put a little bit of butter in the pan, some um, minced garlic that everyone has in a little jar in their fridge, and some salt and pepper. So, these are like so filling, they're so delicious. And I'm gonna go eat this, and I'll see you next time. I think we're gonna make a little fall treat today. Okay, we're about to bake. I found this recipe from Felicia Keithley. Um, she does Weight Watchers. Like I said, I don't do Weight Watchers, but I do like a lot of her recipes just because they are so simple and they just take advantage of a lot of lower calorie options that are out there. So, we're going to be making some pumpkin muffins. I've never made this before. So just like the shirataki noodles, we're gonna try this together. And those turned out really well. So I'm gonna hope for the best with these ones. So let me tell you what you need. A sugar-free classic yellow cake mix from Pillsbury. One can of pumpkin. Make sure it's 100% pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie mix. You'll need a half cup of applesauce. I just bought these little containers because then Dave can take these with him to school for lunch. So this is a half cup. Two egg whites. She used um, like carton egg whites, but I never have those, so I'm just gonna use two actual egg whites. You'll need one cup of water, and then you will also need one half teaspoon of cinnamon and one full teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. This seems like a pretty simple recipe. I'm just gonna mix all of these things together and then divvy them up into some cupcake tins. Now, if I were at home, I would have my real cupcake tins, but I am not at home home. So I bought these like foil ones. Let me also say really quickly that I know I said at the beginning of this video that I'm not gonna be going over like my specific calories and things like that because again, they're specific to you. But because this is like a treat and not a meal, I figured I would just tell you 
how many calories are in one muffin and how I figured that out. I've mentioned before that I use my fitness pal and the recipe tool on my fitness pal is amazing. This recipe is so simple. So all you do is create a recipe. If you don't know how to use my fitness pal, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube for you to figure out all the tools. And so basically whenever I plugged everything in each, if I get 18 muffins out of this recipe, each muffin will be 87 calories. So you could go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin muffin. Granted, it has like the cream cheese and stuff on it, but that thing is easily around 400 calories. So you could have two of these muffins for still less than Starbucks. So I'm gonna whip these up. Your oven should be preheating to 325. I realized as I started mixing this that I failed as a baker because I clearly should have done a wet bowl and a dry bowl, but since Felicia just mixed everything together, that's what I did too, but there's some lumps in here, so I'm just gonna keep stirring a little bit more, and then I'm gonna use a quarter cup to divvy it up into these muffin tins. I also have an ice cream scoop at home that makes this so much easier. So if you have one of those clicky ice cream scoops, use that. Okay, so Felicia said that she got 18. I clearly have a lot of mixture left. Um, and she might have had bigger tins than I have, but she said she used a quarter cup. So. I'm gonna pop these in and then I guess I'm gonna make some more muffins, but this is gonna change the amount of calories per muffin, so basically I will update you at the end. And here they are. Those look pretty amazing. Okay, so I don't know. I said to put the liners in there because I thought they would keep them moist, but do you see what ends up happening? Is it's like kind of getting stuck. To that I mean that sometimes happens with cupcakes but I want to eat the whole dang thing you know so I made these again just to play with the recipe I would say skip the paper liners you can just spray some pan right in your cupcake tins and I would crank your oven up to 350 degrees where you normally bake other cakes um, so I baked these for a total of 25 minutes they were absolutely delicious and I would totally encourage you to try them out this fall season 68 calories per muffin. I think that's pretty awesome. Again, you can make anything for a little bit lower calorie and, you know, fit it into your normal life. I would call this a thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right guys, we have made pasta. We have made muffins. And now we're about to make the easiest recipe of today and that is non pizzas. If you are like me, like most Americans, I would argue, you probably love pizza. Now, for me growing up, <laughs> we would order pizza definitely every weekend, and then my first job was at the local pizza shop. So, there's a special place in my heart for pizza. But during my weight loss journey, I would love to make flatbread type pizzas because it would really just like kick that craving and they're so much lower in calorie and you can actually eat a lot more. So I used to make flatbread pizzas with flat out wraps. Thank you to my friend Sammy for showing me those. Um, and those wraps are like super versatile. You could use them as actual wraps. Um, Sammy and I made enchiladas out of them once, which was super tasty. And then I used to also um, use them to make pizzas. Now those were super cracker thin. And so sometimes that's what I want. But um, recently, as I've kind of upped my calories a little bit over time, I've started making my pizzas on non bread. So you can eat a whole, this is like a like single size, pizza crust like if you were to order a personal pan pizza from anywhere and this whole crust is only 340 calories so I'm gonna take this 
I'm gonna brush a tiny bit of olive oil on it and some garlic salt and then the next part is really up to you and whatever you like to put on your pizza. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400 degrees and pop just the naan in for like maybe three to five minutes, get that a little bit toasty first and then I'll put everything else on top of it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you and maybe started to explain the idea of how you can kind of just change up your meals to still eat the food that you love and start seeing results. So if you're like me and you don't want to sacrifice flavor to lose some weight, then I hope this helped. If you liked this video, go ahead and like it down below and subscribe to my channel so you'll see more of this content. And if you try any of these recipes, please tag me on Instagram at abgetsfab. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.